good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to our sing-along. So good to have you join us. And uh, if you could hit that share button, I think when about three or four people hit the share button on us last week. If you push the share button, it'll probably help to double the people that view and get a chance to enjoy the video. So if you do that, we'd appreciate that. If you want to shove the like button, that'd be good too. If you've got a comment you want to make, and if you have a favorite song that you'd like us to sing, just type that in and Lorna's sitting right beside me here. Lorna will look that up and shout it out to me. And if we know it, we'll try and do a chorus or a verse. So thank you once again for joining us. And um, we didn't get all these songs out to everybody by email this afternoon, but I, I think you know all of them. We chose a lot of the old favorites. This one is called um, I've Got a Mansion Over the Hilltop. If there's ever a song you should know, this is, this is one of the old gospel songs. because it's a fairly catchy tune. So we're going to do that. You just go ahead and pull up the tennis swing instruments and sing along with us as you clap your hands. I've got a man.
things as Christians is we don't just look forward to a mansion. We don't just look forward to heaven, but we actually look forward to living down here because we have a hope. Amen. Hi, Linda. We're only about seven miles away. Yeah. <laughs> thank Chris, thank you for talking to Lauren earlier. Christine. 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 Hi, Christine. And Ross Anderson. Ross. Salvador Madrano. Well, praise the Lord, Brother Salvador. Uh, Sibby and Sheila Thomas. Hi, Sibby. Down in Judy Gal. And Sheila. Are the kids watching, Sibby, along with you? Um, Judy Gal, they usually are. Judy, that's a, that's a sister of mine, isn't it? Yeah. My and Sharon sister, Sutton, that's it? my youngest sister. And then your youngest sister, well, nice. Hi, Sharon. And hi, Keep it in the family. <laughs> yes. Keep it in the family. Um, Nathaniel Gell. Hi, Nathaniel. Andrea Orbell. Andrea. Um, yes. Lo Lois Maxwell. Hi, Lois. Carol, Carol Simpson. That's another and, sister. And Lynette Langman. That's up, well, oh, your yes. sister's up at... <laughs> Up near Midland, and that's my sister, Lynette, then. Hi, Lynette. And Jim, and they're up in Barrie. <laughs> Man, we have lots of family. We've got to build in an audience. Eh? Um, Anderson Mohammed. Hi, Anderson. That's down that's in all uh, I see right San, now. I should... San Fernando, Trinidad. Yeah, tell them Hi, to brother. let us know. Oh, David Way. David. Hi, David. I think you're in Newfoundland now, aren't you? Back there. And I think you just retired or something. Good to have you yeah. join us. So so nobody else has told us you're on. Okay. If you tell us if you're on and we don't know you, please tell us where you're from because we would like to acknowledge that as well. So good to have people join us from everywhere. Um, please hit the like button if you would. Please hit the share button. This is an old song again. Um, we 
would you be free from your burden of sin? on the keyboard and I put the different key in on it.
couple more favorites. Okay. Oh, sweet hour of prayer. If anyone here has a favorite as well, you want to <laughs> find it in the book we'll find it and just maybe do a
coming to you this evening from the lounge here at Maple Grove uh, Christian uh, Family Campground Retreat Center here in Thamesford. This is where uh, Lauren and I have our cottage, and there's so many great people here on the on the campground as well. It has about 100 cottages and room for tent sites. Got a beautiful brand new pool, a huge, beautiful brand new pool last year. And uh, Tabernacle, I was going to have Lorna take the camera to the window, but Tabernacle straight out there, you can almost see it out through there, seats about 500 plus, and they have services here on Sunday and everything. So we've been given the lounge here to use this evening, and next time we'll probably bring our keyboard over, but thank you for joining us and for joining in on the singing. This is just a great place that we can be, and uh, we're so happy for the opportunity. Do you have any other folks that are listening in there, Lorna, that you want to share? Um, yeah, there's quite a few, actually. Joanne Hooper. Joanne from, from Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes. Yeah. Um, Carl Soller. Carl from Hamilton, too. That's the Great People's Church over in Hamilton. Yeah. Yes. You had your um, anniversary last Sunday. I think it was 75 years, I think. David Massimi. Massimi. Massimi, I did. Um, Robert Brand. Robert Brand. Oh, uh, Kathy Doze. Brantford. In calling Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Kathy Doze. David Way, I said he had him, said didn't I? David, He's yes. from Nova Scotia. Oh, you're in Nova Scotia, okay. Good. Okay. Maybe we should come visit sometime, David. We go down that way once in a while. Ian Paul. Ian Paul, hi, Ian. And Wynn Harris. Wynn over um, here. Yeah. Carl, um, oh no, I said him. This thing keeps slipping. I think that's good i can't do it okay we on we can see a few more people on the phone and then on the on the ipad so forgive us if we don't mention your name so great to have so many people join us from so many different places uh, i made up a list of people that uh, have been watching just over the last week and here's a list of them this is stefan from uh, trinidad um in Cuba, i believe in, in trinidad and then there's ron from keswick and rick from oshawa Karen from Mattawa, Charlotte from Brantford, Nigel from Toronto, Seen from St. Mary's, Harry from Nova Scotia, Charles from Toronto, uh, Amanda from Ajax, uh, Roger from Calgary, uh, Bob from Cambridge, Agator from Nigeria, Ruby from Trinidad, Alex from Natal, Doreen uh, over in Michigan, and then Marion from Sri Lanka, Alice in Ottawa, Denny from Ecuador, Robert from Woodstock, Ruben from California, Hess from Barrie, and, th and this is just a partial list, but I made it up really quick. I, these are just people that are joining in, so thank you so very much. Please feel free to share our sing-along. We just, we just want to bring a word of encouragement to people. That's really what a lot of these old songs do, so that's our whole purpose in bringing a sing-along. Happy to have our friends, and we'll introduce them in a little while. But uh, there's another song here. This this week we had a few showers of rain. This one says there'll be showers of blessing. Um, I think if there's ever a day that we need a few more showers of blessing, it's now. Uh, this seems to be a little bit dry sometimes, spiritually. <laughs>
Amen. Yes, good afternoon. In the power of the Spirit. I think for the last, uh, before COVID struck, I think for about the last three or four years, we used to drop in at Atlanta uh, for church with our friends, Sibby and Sheila Thomas. And uh, I remember we went to their church. It's in Chattanooga, about two hours away from where they live. But um, they asked us to do three or four songs. Do you remember the song that we sang that uh, you don't? It went um, something like this. Let's see if it, if the rest of you know it. that about 12, 14 times, it seemed like the people were ready to fly away. <laughs> do, you, do you remember that service? That was so much fun. Anyways, if you have a request, just let us know. Lorna, have you seen any requests? And folk that are here, have you got a favorite? In my heart, the rings of melody 164. 164? Okay. Let's try a verse or two of that. Oh, that's wrong. I don't have my glasses on. That would have it as well with myself. So I'll do it.
and the white, or as you sang it already. The 20, and, the 20? On the paper, 20, um, as well with my soul. Oh, oh, we'll be singing that in a few minutes. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, That's the, the last one. Yes. Yeah, on there. <laughs> Anyone no. else a favorite? No other favorites? Okay. Father, that's our heart cry this evening. If ever we loved you, Lord, it's now. And if ever there was a day that it appears like storm clouds are gathering, it seems to be now. But we're thankful, Lord, that you're totally in control, you're totally in charge. And uh, Lord, this evening we would pray for so many that have requested prayer uh, from us and our group and those that share with us. So as we bring these requests to you, Lord, we ask for your your blessing upon these lives for those lord that are sick we pray lord that you heal them we thank you lord that we have that promise i am the lord that healeth thee so we're not looking lord we're thankful for doctors and nurses and health and hospitals and all the rest we're thankful for that but you alone are the great healer and so we pray lord tonight and we come before you. we pray for so many that are on our list that are looking uh, to you for for healing and help 
And they're looking for us for prayer and support and encouragement and faith building because at their point of weakness and loss, they can hardly look up anymore. So we come on their behalf tonight. We are interceding for them, Lord. We're coming to the throne on their behalf and we pray for them. We pray, Lord, for those that are going through financial distress because, Lord, along with these storm clouds, we're seeing such turnarounds financially and many people are reaching that point of despair and don't know where to turn or look and they can't cut anymore. So pray, Lord, that uh, again, they would look to you, that somehow or another their faith in you would be strengthened. I pray, Lord, that even as Lauren and I were talking today, I pray that the church will begin to reach out to the people that they can give to, that they can do evaluations on people's needs, and then they can open their hearts like never before, rather than these people facing despair and hopelessness and nowhere to turn and giving up in so many, Lord, even of our young people that are committing suicide and bailing out on life because they see no future, no hope. So we pray for them tonight. We pray for the churches that, Lord, this would be our finest hour, that somehow or another we'll reevaluate our, our priorities, whether it be buildings or whether it be people, whether it be programs or whether it be people, whether it be flashing lights and smoke and screens or whether it be people. Help us, Father, we pray. We cry out to you. Your word declares, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will hear their cry and I will answer their prayer and I will heal their land. So we thank you, Lord, that you're still in that healing business, the big healing business that we can never do. We do pray for those that are traveling. We pray for our friends that are, are traveling down to Florida and back. Uh, to visit uh, her brother's um, bedside. We pray, Lord, that you'll watch over them, give them safety as they drive. We pray for the Deckers as they head out west, that your hand would be upon them. You give them journeying mercy, safety as they travel. May there be many open doors of people who just reach out to them and help them in their time of need. We pray for folk here on the campground that are sick, some that are in the hospital, for Brother David, for Brother Hussey, for others, Lord, that need your healing touch. Reach down and touch them, we pray. And for the caregivers around them, we pray for them as well. We thank you, God. We thank you. Because we found that, that word to be true in the first hymn. What a friend we have in Jesus. Our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to him in prayer. So bless those that are watching, Lord, in Jesus' name. Touch them. Lift them up. Encourage them, we pray. May the songs be a great source of inspiration, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I think, amen. It's, I think it's the merits that are going out west, not the debtors. Isn't it? It is. I believe it is the debtors. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank you. So, Lord, we transfer that prayer over to <laughs> the <laughs> mayors. Yeah, we, we, ask you to, we ask you to transfer it over to them. Thank you, wife. Thank you, wife, for being my techie and my backup person there. Amen. Amen. This this has been an old-fashioned, uh, it's become an old-fashioned hymn. It's been around for just a couple hundred years. It was discovered, and I think Bev Shea brought it back to North America to the great Billy Graham Crusades. We're, we're just going to try a couple of verses. Our time is slipping away on us again.
who said you miss any that song. Maybe. Oh, no. Yeah. Wasn't it something to hear the, the choir sing that? Excuse my back for a moment. Wasn't it amazing to <laughs> yes. see the choir singing that? Uh, the first crusade I was in at Billy Graham's was in what, 1951 or two, when he came to Toronto or at the Coliseum, and uh, I got I got his signature. I lost it. I've lost it, of course. But I got his signature. A bunch of young people came down by train from Collingwood, and we all got Billy Graham's signature. Just a young, young evangelist that that time. He recognized so many great things, and his ministry has been an inspiration to so many. A book that we've written recently is called The Evangelist, and uh, why I've written this is I've been teaching on the subject and training evangelists for the last twenty years. And I thought, finally, I should put teach, some of the teaching into actual booklet form. Uh, this one I've come up with, it's How to Identify and Discover Evangelists. We, we don't know it, but there's evangelists all around us, and we don't know who they are. And many times, we don't know how to identify them. And sometimes when we identify them, we toss them aside because they're very different people. This is How to Identify and Discover Evangelists. And the second part deals with how to organize their ministry. And so many evangelists, we were with one the other day. In fact, he's a, he's a dentist, professional dentist, and Lauren's having her teeth done. And he said, you know, if it wasn't for John helping me, I would never have gotten my ministry off the ground. It's called Jesus Calls Ministry. And he's holding services in three or four cities now uh, as an evangelist, even though he works during the week as a dentist. Um, if you would like a free copy, if you're an evangelist, you'd like a free copy, please send me your email. I'll get your mailing address. We'll send it out to you free. We're not selling this book this evening. Uh, it's an amazing book. It's a starter book. The next book we're dealing with, and I've got it almost written, uh, deals with how to finance, how an evangelist finances your ministry, because most churches don't help an evangelist finance it. Most evangelists have disappeared, we think. But while I was sleeping today, I was going over in my mind, all of the different evangelists that we've been helping over the last many years. And there's a ton of evangelists out there. And some of them are holding great services this coming weekend. The evangelist we mentioned, the dentist, he's holding a tent meeting in his backyard. It's a huge home in Cambridge there. And the two other evangelists we're working with in Toronto, uh, a Spanish evangelist and a Filipino evangelist, they're holding a tent meeting this week as well, the weekend, Jan July 1st weekend. In, in the Toronto, Mississauga area. So the evangelist is alive and well. If you'd like a copy or if you know somebody that would like one, please let us know and we'll get that out to you and that will be absolutely free. Do we want to try this song or do you want to tell me if there's a few more folk um, listening in? I see a few more here. Okay. Uh, Lori Kennedy. Hi, Lori. Andrea Wells. That's, um, That's... your daughter-in-law, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ron McCracken. Hi, Ron. Uh, Russell Murray, Kathy Wood. Russell, I, I, Russell's doing an amazing missionary evangelist work, um, building a huge school and uh, orphanage or whatever, and, and he's just started. He lives in Sarnia originally. Um, Kathy Wood and... Um, Kathy's from Ingersoll. Hi, Irene Kathy. Slesser Hi, and Anna, Donna Anna. says, Donna Wellam, looks yeah. like a church meeting. <laughs> No, it's a lounge meeting and a sing-along. Yeah. And that's another sister of Don, of Lana's. Yeah, but lots of sisters. Yeah. They help us okay. over here. <laughs> um, maybe we should just do one verse of this, because our time's pretty well slipped away here on me. Um, do you want to just do Calvary Covers at all? <laughs>
final song. This is the testimony. It's well with my soul. We've got this one for everyone. <laughs> for listening in this evening on Facebook and uh, if you could push that share button now you may not think it's important but it really is and so happy to have four or five six hundred uh, watching over this last week or two so just push that share button if you would please and that will help others to be able to have some joy inspiration and encouragement in their lives may God bless you go in peace as you serve him